Hello, I am Dr. Sriram Ramalingam, Medical Director, Pradhyan Netralia, Artinagar, Bangalore. Specialized in cataract, glaucoma, squint, and refractive surgeries. Mebovian gland dysfunction. What is this mebovian glands? Mebovian glands are the glands that are situated in the lid margins. There are 30 to 40 mebovian glands in the upper lid and 20 to 30 mebovian glands in the lower lids. They secrete a secretion which is thick and viscous in nature, which is lipid in nature. This is called as a mebovian gland secretion. What happens when this mebovian gland secretion decreases or what are the functions of this mebovian gland secretion? First, it helps in preventing the tears from evaporating. It acts as a lubricant, helps in the smooth movement of the eyelids. It increases the surface tension and it increases the optical surface of the eye to give a crisp vision. So any deficiency of this mebovian gland secretion leads to what is called as a mebovian gland dysfunction. The mebovian glands secretes these secretions and the blinking of the lids, the secretions are spread out in the eye. Blinking is a very important in spreading the secretions from the mebovian gland. Lack of blinking as I told in patients or persons using computers can lead to mebovian gland dysfunctions. The hormone androgens increases the production of mebovian glands. Anti-androgenic agents or estrogens decrease the secretions of the mebovian gland that is lipid secretions. So what happens when this mebovian gland secretion decreases? It leads to excessive evaporation of the tears and leads to a severe dry eyes. So what are the symptoms of mebovian gland dysfunction? Is irritation, redness in the eye, occasionally itching in the eye, fluctuation in the vision, it may be clear sometimes, it may be hazy sometimes. On examination, what do you see? On examination, one can see a mild swelling in the lid margins. One can see small dot-like structures on the lid margins, which is what is called as a capping or blockage of mebovian gland ducts. How is this diagnosed? Clinical examination under slit lamp by microscopy may give you an idea of the mebovian gland dysfunctions. Ancillary tests like mebobiography, or mebobiometer can help in clinching the diagnosis of mebovian gland dysfunction. How do you treat mebovian gland dysfunction? Treatment is going to be a long-term process because this condition is a chronic condition. Most important is a lid hygiene. Before lid hygiene, important to do what is called as a warm compressors on the both the lids, followed by lid massage. This helps in evacuating the secretions from the mebovian glands. Antibiotic eye drops are prescribed. Lid scrubs are occasionally prescribed. Many a times a mild steroid drops also may be required. Systemic medications like doxycycline are given in long-standing mebovian gland dysfunction. So treatment is going to be a prolonged. One can expect results within a few days or a few weeks. But if you stop the treatment, it can recur. So treatment has to be continued despite having relief from the symptoms so that one can get eradicate this problem.